Today's video, we're going to be breaking down a little mini scheme here out of the Green Bay Packers offensive playbook. If you guys want to check out my full Green Bay Packers offensive ebook, I'm going to be releasing it in our school community. If you're not a member of our school community, it's only 10 bucks to become a member. It gets you access to all of my college football and Madden offensive and defensive playbooks uh, or defensive ebooks. If you guys want to check that out, the uh, link is in the description down below. So I want to talk about a couple of things uh, as it pertains to uh, to this game. And really, the biggest thing that I want to talk about is switch stick and how switch stick has really changed the game from an offensive perspective. It's much more difficult to play offense, uh, in my opinion, because of switch stick, if you play somebody that has a good switch stick. And so um, one of the other things that has kind of been a new evolution of the game is before this year, you didn't see a lot of auto motion type of plays uh, be effective. But in this year's game, these cheat motion plays are uh, really good. And the Packers playbook has quite a few options um, in terms of different good cheat motion plays. Now, the best type of cheat motion plays are essentially cheat motion streaks. So I'll show you kind of one out of the bunch strong nasty. This I, I think this is only in the Packers playbook. But essentially, it has this cheat motion here to the left side. And then you can kind of do, you know, whatever you really want from around, kind of around it. But if you watch this cheat motion, um, what makes this cheat motion really good is it can sometimes basically just cook man coverage. It can also do a really good job at attacking cover two. So I wanted to go over that real quick. So if I play kind of basic cover two drop, which a lot of people like to play on the solo side this year you know, run a combo like this. Well, now I also have this seam streak in this particular play, but I also have, as you'll see here, this cheap motion just kind of gets into a really, a really good spot against cover two. So you, you, what you force um, against your opponent is you force typically some variation of a cover four, cover three, or a man to man. Now, another reason why this is really good is because if it is a cover four drop with hard flats, or it is, you know, some type of cover three with hard flats, you're going to see that this cheap motion play with a good free form, I'm just going to free form this to the left side. Actually, I think that streak might have been a problem. Let me actually put on a basic streak and kind of show this. But when you run this to the short side, you'll see um, because of this positioning of the slot receiver, let me actually just put him on a basic streak this time. A lot of times what will happen is you can hit this you can hit this fade uh, or this this cheat motion wheel. So you'll see here, you can kind of hit it against zone in this little soft spot. So this was actually something that we saw U-Trips players use a ton in Madden. I want to say it was Madden uh, 23. And now you're kind of seeing this work its way even more so and kind of continue to evolve into now we have a lot of different cheat motion plays within the game. So how do we use this to our advantage and kind of a formation that you could check out here is this this bunch wide. We have a couple different cheat motion plays out of this. You also have some good um, you also have some good just basic route combinations in the sense of you have wide trail, verticals, dig return in here. Um, you should have a lot of good plays. This corner divide play um, is also super interesting. I actually think I'm going to put corner. I think corner divide is more versatile than branch return. It's just branch return is probably better for um, for switch or not switch sticking, but um, quick snapping. Z spot and go is kind of an underrated play. Seem divide another underrated play this year, but in this year's game because there's not a lot of things um, that are really really good um, as from a blitzing perspective. That's going to super ramp you up, especially if you can block your running back consistently out of this. This formation, I think, has you know a lot of value because you can pick up most blitzes in this game with a blocked running back. Um, blocking your tight end isn't really like that good, especially for mid blitz. So you don't really need to block your tight end. So anyways, uh, I just wanted to give you a couple of plays out of here that I think is kind of interesting. The first one is going to be corner divide. So with corner divide, you see how you have this kind of unique post route. This is a deeper post route than the hot route master post or the or the, like the basic post. So what you can do with this play corner divide is just stem this post down. And then what I like to do here is we could drag the tight end. And then on this left-hand side, one of the more underrated routes this year is a basic comeback route. And I want to show you what you could what you'll get with this play kind of as it pertains to, you know, what we're looking at. So again, this is just going to be a basic cover three. And I want you to watch this post on the left side. You're going to see when you stem this post route down, he's going to get over the middle of the field really quickly. And this can be a one-play touchdown against cover three, kind of a basic one. 
And then the other cool part about this, well, cover three is not the hardest thing to bomb in the game, but the thing that's really interesting to me about this game and, and kind of something that it, I think is really good is the ability that you have here to, if you stem first, if the stem is the first thing you do, you kind of get an extra hot route out of that. But this comeback route against hard flats, it's just going to, it's hard for these deep zones to, to really guard it. And I find that the comeback route is something that you don't see. I don't find that switch stick really kills the comeback route. I don't, I just don't see a lot of people switch sticking on to comeback routes. And then you kind of have your basic like smash return style combo what used to be the setup and what I would, you know, kind of see a lot is a streak on this outside guy and then, you know, some type of crosser. But in this game with how switch stick plays, it's a little too easy to guard that that post route. So now we're going to be able to just utilize this comeback. So this comeback kind of gets them to a nice spot. They have to play curl flats to defend that. But if they play curl flats to defend that, then you kind of have that that high low read between the comeback and the drag, which I find to be one of the best ways to kind of attack defenses right now is a simple combo like this, just because typically they're going to switch stick to go take the post route. And then we can work this high low between this comeback and this, and this uh, drag. So as you see, I mean, just gets into a really kind of unique spot uh, of the field. So another combo that is really good that you're starting to see a lot of people run out of this uh, out of this formation is kind of just a basic combo that you can create from pretty much any play. So if you just have like, for example, dig return, you can create it out of this. It's simply we're just going to put the tight end on a streak. You could put him on a stem to curl, uh, a curl route and stem him all the way up if you want to do that. You can corner route. You want to corner route this outside guy and then you're going to out route this guy. So you see how we have kind of a speed out uh, within this play. This is really good specifically for a attacking kind of cover two type defenses and then if they play like cover three hard flats for example if you stem this corner down one tick you can throw this against cover three so you'll see here just throw this down on the outside possession catch that if they don't have you know i mean that's just a good route but then like let's say that they do run cover two a lot of people like to run cover two to the bunch side this year this is a really good combo for that now i'll talk about the back side of course in a minute but you'll see here that this just basic corner route really cooks that cover two, especially with that soft squat, because that soft squat is going to consistently go down to that out route. And then let's say, for example, that you're, you're um, you know, let's say like it's like cover three hard flat again. Let me show you one other thing with this. You can still kind of throw this with the way ags are in this game and the way that you can kind of user catch everything. You can actually kind of force this corner route. You see they play it, throw this down, and then you're going to ag back to the ball like that against that quarter if they're not going to. So what this does is it makes it a hard switch stick. Now, another thing you can do, again, is kind of stem this down. I wouldn't stem it all the way down. I'd probably stem it down one tick like this. And then if you look at this out here, now this is a little easier to kind of, kind of throw into that hole uh, of the zone. But then the other thing that's really interesting is if we think about it, okay, well, let's say that they're going to, which is pretty standard. Like they're going to switch stick to this corner route, right? So then what we're able to do on this backside is we can do a couple of different things. One of the things you can do is not have a clear out streak. If you're anticipating a switch stick and literally just run up a, a combo like this, the reason this is really good is because if they do that, then you're going to be able to just consistently throw this this little drag route underneath. And then if they're shading underneath, then you can throw the post route over the middle of the field. But what I find most of the time, guys, is if they're shading underneath and they're going to switch stick to the corner, one of the routes that you have on this play is just this, this drag late, super late in the play. That's against a shaded down yellow. And then if they do put their yellows on like five yards uh, to really try to take this away, Typically, what's going to happen is you're just going to be able to high point this in the in the seam area of the field, and you can just you can just take this away. So, anyways, and then of course you still have dig return with the whip route that kind of gets into a soft spot of the field. And then let's see other plays in this that are really really good. I just feel like this formation is kind of an underrated formation this year. Uh, this corner divide play, you do have this kind of unique corner route to the tight end. So if you're kind of concerned about switch stick and things of that nature, you could do something like this and have like a high low read between your return route and then your corner. A lot of times they'll switch stick onto the onto the corner and then you kind of throw that over the middle of the field. 
Other plays in here, uh, kind of unique is this cheat slot cross. Um, I, I really like this play because you can basically stem this. You can stem both of these routes. So, like, I'll show you. So, you can stem the tight end. If you want to stem the tight end all the way up and turn this into a streak, you could do something like this. Or you could just stem the crosser up to make it run a little bit deeper. And then you have – a comeback, I would probably just either use a stem curl to turn it into a streak or something. But basically, this gives you some routes that you can kind of throw. I think I stemmed him up a little bit too much. Let me show that again. Cheat slot cross, stem him up one. And then we'll use a stemmed curl to turn this into a streak on the left. And then if you want to drag circle, you can. But anyway, you'll see kind of that crosser gets into kind of a, a nice spot. On that left sideline, I think one of the most underrated, underrated plays in the game though is this corner divide with the comeback, because they have to play hard flats. They have to shade down to defend this, and then if they do that, this becomes wide open. Another play that I wanted to cover is this uh, cheap flood play. So you don't even necessarily have to use this play. The main reason we're using this play is because we want to use this streak. So we're going to use this cheat motion streak. We're going to stem him all the way up. And what eventually will happen is they'll start playing cloud flats, like cover two cloud flats on this right side. So if they start doing that, what I like to do is I have that, that stemmed streak. I'm going to put the slot on a streak. And then you can kind of do whatever you want other than this. I like a post and a drag combo, something simple like this. And then you'll see that this cheap motion is just going to kind of get into a really nice spot on the field against cover two. And you can just bomb cover two this way as well. So against this formation, you're not going to see a lot of cover two. You're going to see a lot of cover three and cover four, uh, which we're able to beat with the basic high-low reads. And then let me actually go grab a man coverage play so that I can kind of walk you through how you can – how you can consistently beat man coverage in this formation. So I don't think man coverage is honestly that good um, against something like this. And the reason why is because it's going to be hard for them to consistently press this tight end. Most formations, if it's a nickel set, they're really never going to be able to press this tight end. But you could do something like, I mean, something like uh, this right here at a dig return. This is a really nice little combo right here that will consistently beat man. You see that backside guy, of course, that middle third able to, able to get down on that but you could put like a basic in route um you know i mean you could just do it like this but essentially if they play cover one you know i don't <laughs> i guess you can't i guess you just can't beat man coverage i, I don't know uh, but anyway let me go back to that cheat slot cross play so that cheat slot cross play is probably what i would use to beat man uh, because you're going to get a lot of unbumpable routes on this and then again i really believe in like the stem curl or Saving it, even just, just I just don't like the fade, so I just want to make sure that that's a streak on the left because I just think it's better. Um, but you'll see here, look at that crosser. This Tyreek Hill just gets pressed into the ground. Um, but you have that crosser right there over the middle of the field. Another thing that people are doing a lot is you're getting the cover two shade down man, and this is also why cheat motion plays are really good. So, what you could do out of the play cheat flood, you're going to stem the tight end all the way up put the slot on a curl stem him all the way up. That's basically just making it an unbumpable streak. And then I don't really care what you do with this backside guy. If you want to just, you know, slant post combo, whatever you want, but watch this, watch this tight end off the line of scrimmage against shaded down man coverage. And it really, um, you know, you just put them in a lot of, a lot of conflict over there on that right side. So this is the bunch wide out of the Packers book. A lot of good things you can do out of this. And honestly, this formation, uh, if we just talk about Packers as a whole for a second, one of the things I want to show you, you can go from this to Bunch Strong Nasty. And then with the Bunch Strong Nasty, right, it's pretty much the same alignment. Like you would you would be on the same hash. But now your cheat motion is more so a left side cheat motion. So we'll just kind of cover this against cover two man shade underneath. If they're doing this shade down stuff, this specific one is probably a little better for that because you're going to see when he crosses the field like this, there's an um, but there's kind of a rub that's going to occur. And then this is going to be a touchdown against shade down cover two man. So it just makes it hard uh, to consistently get away with playing man coverage. And so again, we kind of funnel them back into this cover four, which if we want to manipulate cover four, really what you want to do 
is kind of attack the intermediate area of the field because most of the time they're going to be shading underneath. One of the things you can do as well is a speed out. So we'll just use like a, you see here, like, let me get a better route here. Let's do, um, let's do it out of corner divide. So we have this, they have this post. We're going to use a sh post on the tight end. We're going to streak the slot receiver and then we're going to use a speed out. And then what I like to do here is stem the speed out over 10 yards, somewhere between 10, uh, somewhere between 10 to 15 yards, I find to be the best. And so watch how fast this is going to run. And you can just throw this consistently. It's kind of a super hard route to switch stick. And then if they do switch stick that route, this is where situationally we can kind of mix some things in. But I like to have maybe a, maybe a combo like this. So now they're going to switch stick on. We're just assuming, but they're going to switch stick on to um, – they're going to switch stick onto the out route. And then the, uh, I don't know what I'm, why I can't audible to the right play. Um, they're going to switch stick onto the out route and then you're going to throw the post. So again, uh, and you can do this out of any play. It doesn't have to be anything special. I keep stemming this up just a little bit too much, but what you'll see here, they switch stick on that out route. We throw, as long as they don't bump, we throw that post. I'm going to show that one more time. And the reason you might want to do it out of corner divide is just because it has a D it's like a little bit more of a, it's just more of a bomb uh, type of post route than the hot route of post. So you see here it just kind of gets into a, a better spot of the field, but that's a, that's what you want to do. If they're switch sticking you on, if they're switch sticking you consistently and they're trying to take away your, um, you're stemmed out. This is normally a really good read. And then of course, you know, look at that yellow zone back, 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 back. And then you can throw this right there. So this just puts a, a lot of stress on the different defenses that you are going to force them into. And then you're normally going to be able to, you know, just basically attack it. This, uh, backs, this kind of speed in route from the motion is pretty good against man, so another combo that you could do is you could have, you know, this outside guy, for example, we could just put him on really whatever we want, um, you know, but maybe do a combo like this. And then if you watch this, uh, watch this in route against man coverage, you'll see that this in route, if we clear out the middle of the field a little bit for him, this in route really can cook uh, good old, good old practice mode, just doing what practice mode does. And just breaking everything. Let me try to show this to you one more time. Cheat slot cross. I mainly just want to show you the in route, but what you can do is you can use like a streak, you know what I mean? And then a backside drag or something like that. And then if you want to use, you know, I don't really, whatever you want to do on this outside guy, I really like just a basic, uh, just kind of flat read but essentially something like this. This is pretty good against man. And the reason why is because the space, it just spaces out really well. It's hard to use her. And then this tight end route is going to be pretty consistent for you. And just consistently being able to beat man coverage, right? So so these are some different, different ways in which I like to use this formation to be able to attack a lot of things that the defense, uh, the defensive meta is pretty much doing right now. And then again, the beauty of this, is this is also all from Packers, which has literally every other formation in the game. I mean, it has tight, it has uh, bunch strong, it has bunch strong nasty, it has trips, it has a really good motion, a um, couple good motion plays out of this formation. So there's just a lot of value, I think, in this formation this year, uh, or this, this playbook, and ultimately – these cheap motion plays, I think, are really, really, really good. Look at this! Uh, look at this little uh, four-man glitch blitz <laughs> that we have out of Cover One Robber. Um, a good old, good old Prax mode just never fails to to get instantaneous sheds. You also have that nice crosser. Um, the crosser out a bunch wide is a little bit better. One of the reasons why is because if you look at this real quick, while we're on the subject, let's just talk about if they do run a run, you know, some cover three. And they start doing like a like a purple over here or something. Haven't seen this defense that much this year because of switch stick. But if we go to verticals, and let's just say we drag this guy right here, watch this watch this R one. 
you see how it can just kind of split the zones and this can become a really good cover three beater as well. So there's just a lot of ways to manipulate cover three, you kind of force them into a cover four drop. And then once you kind of force them into, you know, cover four drop, I mean, literally everything becomes open at that point. These little baby zigs, um, just the hole underneath of the field and then the corner routes. So there's just a lot of, lot of things you have in this offense. So I'm going to leave it there. If you guys want to check out the full offensive ebook out of this, that's going to be in the description down below. Uh, you can join our school community for just $10 and it's going to get you access to all of my, uh, offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to check that out, link is in the description below.